Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What should two murids do if they get into a disagreement or a fight? What should two murids do if they get into a fight? In the first place, why are they getting into a fight? Why are you getting into a disagreement? Disagreement? It's okay. Fighting is not allowed. You can disagree. Why you have to fight? When you disagree, two murids, they disagree on something. You have your own way. The other person has your own way. Two ways. That's okay. Holy Prophet says the disagreements between my Sahabis, they are a rahmat to the nation. They are a mercy to the nation. What does that mean, disagreement? That means two different ishtihads, two different ways, two different opinions to solve a problem, to solve a situation, different ways. So the ummat now has a wide choice. He didn't say the fighting of my sahabis, they are rahmat. We're not going to go into that, what the sahabis did. Look to ourselves. Why we need to fight? Fighting is coming from the ego. One saying I'm right, the other one saying I'm right. And both not backing off because both demanding that they are right and the other one is wrong. One time, Nasreddin Hoja, you know Nasreddin Hoja? He was a saint. He was a king Sai saint. He was created as a prophet. But Allah accepted his request. To not be a prophet, but just to be a regular member of this ummah. Because he says, I want to lift the burden of the ummah. I want to help the ummah. And Allah accepted that request on the day of Qalubala. Which is why, if anyone is saying a story, Nasruddin Hoja's story, Whatever troubles that you are in, whatever situation that you are in, no matter how heavy your heart is, you will forget about it for the second and you will laugh. Your burden is lifted. Now, Sayyidin Hoja, one man and one wife came in front of him saying, Hoja, we have disagreement. You have to judge now. You have to say which one is right and which one is wrong. So Jai says, okay. So say. So they started speaking. First the husband started speaking. Oja, this is what happened. This, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, going on. Oja, listening, listening, listening. Saying, you know what? You are right. Wife got very upset. No, Hoja, this is not what happened. This is what happened. This and this and this and this and this and this. Hoja, listening, says, You are right. So Hoja's wife was listening behind. She couldn't stand any longer. She says, Hoja, what are you doing? you saying he is right and you're saying she is right? So who is right? So Hoja says, You know what, wife, you are right too. So everyone in their own minds, they think they are right. Who thinks they are wrong? Who in a disagreement thinks that they are wrong? Hmm? Especially when the ego starts disagreement. Fighting is even worse. Who is in a fighting thinks that they are wrong? No one. Why you want to get into a fight? Not necessary. What do you do? To know that if you have a fight, 
the way that is going to break the back of shaitan, because shaitan that time is happy when he sees two murids fighting. Very happy. He has a big party that time. In order to break the backbone of shaitan, get up and hug each other. Hug each other. That's it. If you have a disagreement and both of you agree to disagree, it's okay. Accept each other's way. Say that is for you, this is for me. Everyone is going to spin in their own orbit. No one is going to spin in their orbit and crushing each other. So, inshallah, we will understand if at that moment when you are having a disagreement, in that moment you're having fighting, and if you manage to stop yourself and say, Ah, my Allah is watching me. My Prophet is watching me. Do these words, they fit to come out from my mouth. My Shaykh is watching me. Does it fit? And you're trying to hold it in? That time, the winds, the breeze of Rahmat already touch you. And shaitan is already burning. But if that time you don't care for nothing, you're saying, I'm right, I don't care who says what. That time, shaitan has taken the fire that is meant for him and has given it to you and you are burning inside. So, we are not saying everyone should be the same, but we're saying, you know why the Ottoman Empire was so successful? Because people were able to live together, although they disagree. From everything, from their race, from their religion, uh, differences, differences. The differences, it became a rahmat. May it be easy, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.